Hello everybody, welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today we're going to be talking about Linvala. No, not the expensive one. The preserver here. She's uh, a lot of mana for a 5-5 five, five flower, but you know, I guess 6 mana is not a whole lot. But she's got this cool comes into play thing, two of them actually. Um, you can get some life in a 3-3 angel. I kind of went almost generic with her. The angel theme, it's not tribal angels, but looking here, there's, what, all but one creature's an angel? So, I guess it, it's it's pretty close. Um, anyway, here we go. I want to start off with my, this is some of my absolute favorite interactions in this game. And, and there, it's in white. Okay. So first you get your Expedition map, and yes, Expedition map typically goes and gets Valakit or Urbor or Maze of Ith or whatever, the Cradle. But, obviously in this deck we're going to go get the Emir of the Sky Rune. Now, Emir of the Sky Rune is cool, and so is the map, but it's really cool when you can get the map back and get that free landfall until you get your you find your burnished heart to work with your sun titan that way you can double landfall every turn and ramp up to the number of planes that you need for emira did i say landfall because um when this card came out a buddy of mine he's a like a straight up black mage he loves the zombies and he he looked at it and he goes oh that's the abomination angel yeah yeah uh Landfall equals O-ring. Uh, I mean, wow. But those, I just love how those five cards just mesh together, work together, and it's, if you get the loop going, you're just, I mean, it thins your deck, it helps your board state, it's, and in a deck with a, you know, <laughs> expensive creature base, it helps. Speaking of expensive creature bases, um, Here's our uh, random mana ramp. Of course, we're going to turn one soul ring into a pearl medallion because that is living the dream. Also have the marble diamond, the mine stone, power stone, lots of stones, feller stone, and the thought vessel, just in case, you know, we get that random blue player that decides everybody needs to draw 30 cards. The rest of the artifacts are... Here's the, whoa, the Trailblazer boots. Oh, I'm just completely messing this up. Non-basic land walk. Trailblazer's boots are a thing. I mean, I can't speak enough about it. I know y'all have seen them in a ton of my decks, but um, monocolor EDH is something not a lot of people do. And even then, they're running, you know, Emiras or Urborgs or something like that. I mean... Making your general unblockable is a pretty, pretty awesome thing to do. Explorer Scope, it, it, it's going to help with your landfall. You generally hit, what is it, 1 in 3? Or, well, 40% of the time. Sword of Vengeance, Moon Silver Spear, Mask of Addison, I felt like had to be in there just for flavor. Um, Urza's armor is in there and no I can't really tell you why I, I'm not certain um, I, I'm not playing with pain lens or anything that does a damage um, maybe I'm maybe we'll find it as we go along Hell, it's been a while since I played this deck and then we have our Hall of Triumph now the Hall of Triumph is going to flow nicely right into the Honor of the Pure, or the Dictate of Heliod. I specifically had to choose that art for Glorious Anthem. As far as I'm concerned, that's the only art. I remember when this card came out, we called this uh, the Better Crusade. And the Marshall's Anthem, to get back some long-forgotten dudes, or, well, ladies, if you will. Also, the one thing that works really well with that uh, 
Sun Titan, Emira, Burnished Heart, Armored Ascension thing. Yeah. Now, I've got a little bit of a Mark of Asylum is going to, uh, well, right now, it's going to protect us from Star of Extinction. <laughs> Gosh, what a nuts card. Um, some spot removal to revoke. I count the validity of spot removal because, you know what? It ain't a threat to me no more, so I don't care. We have Banishing Light and the O-Ring. Now, Shielded by Faith. Shielded by Faith is awesome. You can enchant it, and then you can just choose to move it anytime a creature comes in. Now, also note, nowhere on here does it say you control. So there is some political shenanigans you can do with this. If somebody plays their general that's in your best interest to stay alive, you can be like, hey, guy. You guys shielded by faith. And then when he backstabs you like he ultimately will, you play one of your own dudes and move it to yours. Now, R of Silence. For years, people have been calling R of Silence the um, Brian Cannon and Neither Void because it hurts me. Most of my decks, y'all know this, is just uh, Brian Cannon costs two more to play Magic. That's, that, that's how I read this, so... I try to use it as much as possible to make others feel the pain that I feel. But then we have probably the most broken two-drop enchantment in the format. This is nuts. Um, it, it, if you drop this on turn two in a multiplayer, it's probably turned on by your next turn. And, but... You're also painting a big old red target on your forehead when you do it. Now, I do have like the Mass Calcify because it's, it's the natural shoe in for a mono white deck. Running Terminus as my other board wipe simply because it does uh, kill Indestructible. And, well, I say kill. It doesn't kill them, but, you know, it kind of makes you not have to worry about it. The miracle thing, uh, it's cool when it happens, but you also, the timing, just because I flip it up, you know, if I've got three dudes and nobody else has got anything, it's going to the hand. Um, resurrection, I don't know, almost seemed flavorful here, so that's why it's in there. Our white counter, our white counter spell in the form of flicker, because if... If they target a creature with something, you flicker it and, you know, it just kind of counters it. Or you get another comes into play ability from whatever. Speaking of white counter spells, we actually have a counter spell for an artifact or enchantment. Yeah, they gain a little bit of life. Who cares? I love it because nobody sees it coming. Love Illumination. Always loved it. Back when the color ply had, had blurred lines. Ovulation may also be some awesome removal because it does get around things like indestructible and whatever. Now, it used to be ridiculous back before uh, to when there was a, the quote-unquote tuck rule to when you could obelate somebody's general and shuffle it into the deck. That was most decks, game over. But now they can just opt to put it back in the command zone so you really don't do it to the commander you do it to their uh, combo pieces or whatever humble another way to get rid of indestructible it's an instant so it's a great little combat trick um i like to use it on like avison or Ion or whatever you know yeah exile another way to get rid of boy i'm I must be worried about indestructible stuff, huh? <laughs> There's a condemn. I mean, really worried about it. And then I have just the good old fashioned disenchant. Now let's get into some creatures. Let's get our our one non angel, Crovax. He uh, 
Huh. A word comes to mind. One guy, bunch of women. Anyway, we have. I tried to use. No, I, I do not have the Avison or the um, Iona. I tried to use angels that weren't popular, i.e., good, because typically, you know, you play the Avison, you become the target. But I don't know that ever anybody has become the target when they lay down a Seraph. Now, granted, she is a seven mana four four, which is way above the curve. She or below or however you want to say it, she's just bad. But the ability, yeah, there again, back when the color pie had blurred lines, she's a vampire. I mean, she's the white vampire. No other way to say it. Archangel of Strive. I, I had a conniption when this card was first previewed, and I thought, oh, man, that's that's awesome. I, I need to get me, like, a little um, uh, peace and war, war tokens to put above, like, everybody's life die so they know. That'd be cool, like, little peace symbols, and then to maybe, like, war, I, I guess, <laughs> nine mil rounds, whatever. I've got 45 rounds in the round. Anyway. Going with expensive angels. Why not seven mana here? We got nine mana. Now I had a bunch of fun with Rhea back in the first time she appeared in Standard. Um, man, she is a beautiful card. I think today if we got this, it wouldn't be nine mana. I'm relatively certain. But we probably wouldn't get a four six body either. It'd probably be like a 2-3 for 5 or something. I don't know. I don't cost cards. I just play them. Avenging Angel. You may. So that's a... Uh, it's a good... Uh, may is a good thing because there's a, a lot of cards that have some more similar to this ability that your opponent just keeps killing and it has to go back to the top of the library so they can just, you know, lock you out of your own game with your own card and that's not fun. But... If you got to get her back, you can. Reclaimer. Now, I don't know how this works if you cannot choose a card in their graveyard. At the beginning of your end step, choose a creature card in an opponent's graveyard. I don't know how this works if they don't have any creatures in their yard, so... Somebody help me on this. Anyway, it's kind of neat, and I'm not playing it in any other deck. It, five five flyer for six. So I mean, it's it's we're not we're not getting like amazing stuff in this deck. Dire hour. This is a board wipe on a five four flyer. So pretty cool. Uh, the Snow Angel. Snow Angel's been good for uh, the ever. Allows you to get back, you know, anything that's been spot removed. But, now, she cannot get back herself, so that's cool, I guess. Maybe. Guardian Seraph. Is this why I have Urza's Armor in there? Because it kind of fits along the same theme? I, I don't... Still don't know where I was going with that Urza's Armor, guys. We got... Victory's Herald. You know, all our creatures have flying except for Poral Crovex anyway, but Lifelink's a nice bump. The Emira Shepherd, Landfall. I don't care what it does in what we've got going on with the deck. Landfall seems pretty good. And it's going to be a Plains. You know, more than likely, because I think I'm only dealing with like five or six cards that aren't Plains. And those are all Cycle Lands, so. Got this here skirmisher. Which we might as well uh, give them all vigilance because multiplayer vigilance is absolutely priceless. Because the last thing I want to do is tap out to hurt the big threat at the table and then get pummeled around the table before my next turn. Vigilance, underrated. Wisp Weaver Angel. 
blinks. Yeah, it's what if. I mean, just in case they've got a, a, a pacifism type effect on your general and, you know, you can get that, whatever. I say pacifism type effect. Nobody really plays with pacifism but me, I don't think. But anyway, you, you get the idea. Herald of War. Angels and humans get cheaper, you know, for each. So you definitely want to put him in there uh, swinging. Don't really have a way to mound up counters on him. I don't have a Johnny in the deck. But I do have a field marshal, you know. It uh, it works as long as you got your chick out there. and Grants vigilance to the team, so... The, the sad part here is your creatures don't get plus two, plus two. They just get the vigilance. It's easy to, easy to read it wrong. Green gets that ability, not, not us. The Resolute. You know, this card's never mattered to me. It has never done its thing. But I would imagine there's going to come a day when it will and it's going to feel great. <laughs> we have the Angel of Serenity. Because, uh, you know, as far as blinking or flickering, or uh, because a lot of times you choose your targets with this thing and better targets come out, and, you know, some good. And then last, of course, but not least, is our girl that loves the Flyers, Miss Radiant. She is on the list, by the way. So, um, uh, now, granted, she's not heavily played as a 5-mana 3-3, three, three, but there's never going to be any more Radiant Archangels, so, you know. As long as there's a reserve list, anyway. I'm no expert, but I think they're taking steps. Anyway, that's all I've got for today for Lid Vala. I do appreciate you watching. Y'all let me know what you think. Right now, we're going to shuffle and cut. <laughs>